What's up guys, it's Sonny Tala for the top of the table clash between Shamrock Rovers and Derry City. Danny Mandreo, Jack Byrne, Andy Lyons, Jamie McGonigal, Will Patching, Manny Smith. Just some of the names that are met watering on both sides coming into this fixture. I'm not going to do much of a preview guys because uh, you can check that out on the Premier Division preview show where we've actually previewed the game and all other games in the Premier Division so check that out but uh, promises to be a very very good, good game of football tonight i think it will be tense but you'll see a, a lot of good quality good passages to play both teams will not give anything away easily i would have thought and um, shamrock rovers did in the last minute up in the brand new well earlier on the season when lopez made an uncharacteristic mistake to give derry the win late on but um when i say to give derry the win late on jamie mcgonagall if you remember that match guys had an awful lot to do after that and he, he finished with a plum, fantastic finish. So uh looking forward to this one guys. Um match day vlog. So let's let's get into this one. Lads, lads, just in case you're wondering, that's clear glass, that's brown gla glass, and that's green glass. So if you have yellow glass, you're actually fucked altogether.
So guys, just saying from the game, it finished Shamrock Rovers won Derry City nil, and this was oh, where did I put my finger there? It was uh, this was a very intriguing match between the top two teams in the country at this minute in time, and uh, it was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was really really interesting watching it. Um, I thought Derry, to be honest, were the better side for much of this game. You could say sixty minutes for sure. First half. They pretty much dominated a lot of it. I think Rovers have one kind of opportunity with Sean Hoare. Uh, they went over the top. Um, Derry had chances. They pressed um, Shamrock Rovers very well. They made it very difficult. Gave them no space in midfield. Dummigan, Patchy and all those players did a great job in there. Um, and whatever the plan uh, that Higgins was trying to employ was working because it was frustrating Rovers and they couldn't get the likes of Jack Byrne. Um, into the game um, but they had opportunities that they snatched and they lacked composure Matty Smith a great chance uh, takes his eye off the ball and the ball falls away when if he controls that he probably scores I think McGonagall the chance saved by Manus and there are bits and pieces like that from Derry City just for the lack of composure and I could see it as the game was going on second half they had one or two chances as well and I thought to myself Rovers if they have a little spell here they're going to take a chance I think Rovers played this game for about 15 minutes. Let's say played, performed for about 15 minutes, and it was the last 15. Uh, Gaffney came on against Liger Rovers and was brilliant during the week. Didn't get much out of Owen Toll tonight. What happens? Take him off. Mandra goes up, up, on up front. Mandra obviously scores the winner after good work from Lions where he cuts inside Ronan Boyce and uh, Mar makes a save and Mandra tops it in. But the movement and the difference that Mandra offered him when he came on, it was just absolutely brilliant and it gave a different problem to Derry City and they couldn't really handle it if I'm honest with you uh, the freshness of that the quality that Rovers could bring on obviously making a difference too I feel and that's why they could really come into the game in the last 50 minutes and nick nick the 1-0 and uh, as I said it's why they are champions you've seen it in the vlog I mean it, it is it's why they're champions they're four points clear of Derry now it's far from over but you just feel that when it comes to the crunch that I think that's eight wins out of nine now for Shamrock Rovers. Derry haven't won in three. Um, you just feel when it comes to the crunch they will be there. But from Derry's perspective, as I said, it isn't over. But people have to remember as well that you know this is the start of a process for Derry, and they have built a very good, assembled a very good squad actually, and they're going the right direction, and they will get better in the future. Um, maybe they fall short this season. Who knows? But is it falling short? You know what I mean? Um, do, are they expected to win the league, let's say? They'll certainly finish second, for sure, absolutely. And I don't think they'll finish... I don't think it'll be the biggest gap between first and second as there was, say, last year. Um, I hope not, because you want the league to be a challenge for a certain amount of time, at least, don't you, to be fair? But, um, yeah, look, that's just my instant thoughts, and we look at it in the review show and, and speak about it properly and that as well. But... Um, yeah, really enjoy the vlog. Great atmosphere in the South Stand as well. And, uh, you know, the Rovers fans are very good tonight. The Derry fans looked, they were like, looked like they were good from the far side as well, to be fair to them. So good atmosphere, good game. And uh, I'll leave it there, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video. You can just uh, keep an eye on, out on our Premier Division show coming out soon as well. And uh, which will be the review show probably on Sunday, actually. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye now.